I don't think it is. Okay. Okay! Alright guys, welcome back to Teetherland. Uh, last where we left off, we did nights, well, hours three and four on easy and hard, uh, or normal and hard, I guess you could say. And in this, we're going to try and do the fifth night, and then I don't know if the finale thing is another night, or just a little walk around section, but we might be able to do both, it really depends. Uh, hopefully this one will be significantly shorter. We have been doing pretty much four nights every single episode, and it's been making it half an hour or more, so... Let's hop into hour five and just try not to make this take ten years. So we really shouldn't have anything new going on, which is good. And done. That'll be Teeler going out. Here, I'm walking out. Okay. It's actually easier to see the screen when the power is off. Get rid of you. Try and get rid of Tacy. Ah, oh, she's coming down to the door. Fair enough. There? Nope. Good. Alright. Turn the power back on and uh, hop right to it. And grab Teeler. He's our last one. There he is. Come here. Done. Checklist. Teeler, Frail, and Tacy. Done. Easy clap. Did it in no time at all. And. Bum bum. Hour complete. So that is technically night five. Uh, is he gonna throw us right into the finale? It is complete. Oh, isn't it? I fixed them. Who? I have made them perfect. The animatronics? They are all together now. They're pretty stupid, to they be honest. Are now one. It will lure the beast out of his cage. What? Excuse me? Finale. Alright, that seems pretty interesting. Uh, we're gonna... Yeah. We're gonna hold off to get that. Uh, any new characters? Let's see. Nope. No new characters wants to show us yet. So, I think we're ready to just hop straight into the hard mode version of Hour 5. Try and blast through this. So, we know how this goes. Be as quick 
quick as possible. For getting this built. Alright. Healer, so we want to get out of there. Eight. Get away from Teeler so he doesn't affect us. Eight, five, eight. Kind of would like to get rid of Teeler. Power's gone out, that's fine. Come on. Please go. It's frail. Alright, it's alright. He's gone. Healer. Uh, 3887. Gas is down here. Generator's up here. Pretty sure that's Willow. Yep. And Frail. Who is it? Jesus, Tacey. God, I couldn't see for a while there. Okay, we're good. Okay, he decided to go right in. Because he was waiting for me to leave, wasn't he? I said he can do that. Come on, Teeler. Don't go down there. Follow me. Follow me, Teeler. That's right, that's right. Okay, there should be one gone. Hot. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. I'm heading out, out out here anyway. There we go. We're fine. Tacy. So teeler has gone, so we don't have to deal with him anymore. So no matter what, we're always gonna have to look at them when they're in the hall. Uh five seven three two. Okay, let's try and get Tacy. Come on. Or for real. Doesn't matter. Okay, we got for real. Done. Get out of here. He's there. Yep, it's Tacy. So, Tacy's the last lure we gotta get rid of. Willow's not there. So, 3326. Three, Pick up the gas now. We're gonna go turn on the power here now. So, I think Tacy just went right back in, too. Annoyingly. Yep. Alright, go back so I can lure you into a cell. I'm pretty sure you're pretty much done there now, anyway. Four, three, two, five. Did you run on two? I reset you, of course it did. Come on. Get out of here. Get rid of you. Head back. And we're done. Healer, Frail, and Tacy done. Again! First try. Absolute pros at this game by now. And now with this, we should be able to get to the increased view distance, which is exactly what I want. Alright. Increased view distance. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Don't know how we get any more of these stars, but... I don't know how many more things we're going to be getting by the end of this. The max health really isn't even that useful. Uh, it's just try not to get jump scared, to be honest. Awarded for beating every hard mode hour. Well, oh, I guess I guess I got that, don't I? All right, um, we're only ten minutes in, and we've already got that done. So, 
I guess let's hop in and see what the finale is. I guess it's kind of like night six. Oh, cutscene. Dusty. I don't think it is. Is that a mask? Or some sort of head? Is it a hole? What's going on? Loading screen. They are now one. Oh, wow, that's a great tip. Read carefully. The deterrent will activate after you close this prompt. To avoid getting attacked by him, hold control to flash your light in the hall he is in. Hold until the screen goes black and you hear him go away. Hold on. Okay. Um, be cautious with your light's battery. When you hear scraping metal, he is here. To directly attack him, you need to use the computer behind you. Oh my god, what is this? Click on the red doors to open them. He will enter a room where it's respect with while its respective doors open. But he will not stay there for long. His position is indicated by a red dot on the map. Click and hold on the white generator icons to charge them. The lights will go dark during this once the gen reaches 100%. It, it'll explode. Do not let a gen uh, get to 100% if he's not in the room with it. Try to trap the, the deterrent into one of these rooms and charge generator in it to 100% to damage him. You'll need to do this until his HP fully drains. So his four health bar is at the top. Um, right click... Or charge a gen to begin the finale. Okay. And we have limited power. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. He's in there, but he's gonna leave. It doesn't really matter. Was that scraping? No. Go away. Scraping metal. All right, all right, all right. Okay, got ya. Okay, open the door. Wait, what? Did the charge reset? What is that? Got ya. I had to charge it up twice though. Oh, come on, man! I had to charge it up twice, so that like, screwed me. Got him. 
come on. No, man, come on! This takes so long! It gets harder once things charge up. Okay, no, it completely resets. Yeah, you can only do one at a time. Oh my god, no. No. I'm dead. Damn! I ran out of battery! Oh my god! I felt like I was doing great with the battery. I think I'm just gonna have to open the doors just to distract him. So he won't come in. Come on. Yep, I- COME ON, MAN! Oh my god! This is so BS. I've been doing this for 20 minutes. audio cue. There you go. You know, let me look. Yep. Okay, he's in. Blow him up. Let me hit it. Why does it not let me hit it? Like, I want to hit the door. Pull him in. Give me lots of time. Come on, I need time. That's right, that's right, that's right. I got it. I think I got it. Yes! Oh my god! 
That was stressful. Right on the edge there. Alright. Let's walk in here. Oh my god. That was brutal. Oh god. Climbing out of here. I'm done with that thing. Blasted it. Blasted it with four overloaded generators. Just lock the hatch. Lock that thing down permanently. Oh my god, it's coming out. You, what? Either, either we were killed by Teal or Teal killed, or we killed Teal. <laughs> I think Teal killed us. I think that's what that was. And then just left the mask. <sighs> Sibling rivalry. <laughs> Pretty intense one at that. Well, there you go. Ugh. Really good game. <laughs> as much as I do not like how close of a shave that finale is, I still really like this game. And I'm really curious to see what the, like, custom hour looks like. We'll hop right into that after that. Yeah, so far, recording-wise, this was the longest video I've recorded, footage-wise. But, like, you know, um, most of that is going to be cut out. So it won't be nearly as long for you guys. Just like Ultra Custom Night, I'll show you my first attempt, the deaths of the rest of my attempts, and then the final attempt. That's usually the format I go with everything uh, in FNAF games for videos anyway, to make them hopefully not drag on for too long, even though sometimes they still do. I try my best. Uh, but yeah, here's the credits. We're going to let them run because, you know, amazing game. They deserve all the credit for this. Uh... So yeah, I don't really have anything to say, so I'm just going to wait until after this and we're going to explore the menu a little bit, so enjoy the credits. Sure did.
Awarded for beating the base game. Alright. Uh, let's see. So we have extras, custom hour. We'll hop into that now. So, let's see what we got. Teeler and the deterrent. There you go. So now, I was going to say, when the hell is Teeler going to get his own uh, thing? Because he is a character. Teeler and the deterrent. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. That's what it looks like. Teeler is the controllable lure you assemble each hour and use to lure the threats into con... It is constructed from spare endo and suit parts throughout the facility. Yep. After assembly of the lure is complete, you can go out, go on the controller's computer to control its movement. If Teeler remains still against an inactive non-ambient threat for too long, it will get corrupt, and the firewall will be needed to restore functionality to it. The deterrent is Teal Artel's answer to David's Teeler. The, okay. The turret was made to bait David to come to the surface to meet Teal or else get attacked, hence the name. The Deterrent. Okay, so I am saying that right. Oh yeah, T-Lur and Deterrent. So it's a lure and a Deterrent. Clever. Uh, the Deterrent is fought in the finale. The computer is used to overcharge generators while he is near them, resulting in chunks of his health being taken away. All right. And then David. He's the final, wait. Wait, wait. Hold on. David is the one wearing the mask? Wait, that that's weird. Why is David the one wearing the mask? Alright. Check out extras. This is, yeah, this is the making of Teeler. <laughs> yeah, he's like a full-on jester. What in the world? Freaky looking. Was this made in Blender? I'm not sure. There's Frill. There's Tacy. There's, uh, what's his face? Mischievous was his name? Okay, that's a character we haven't seen. Bruh. There's the, some concept art. Yup. Original office design. Continue to improve it until its final version. No idea what that is. And there we go. And then character renders. Oh, this would have been nice to have for my uh, thumbnails. <laughs> oh, I have them now anyway. So yeah, we have Teeler. We have Willow. We have Frill. Tacy. Mischievous, I was right. And then we got the doll. The deterrent and question mark. Yeah, what what was this supposed to be? It was like a mysterious Teeler. God, the deterrent just has a, just a sword, sure. And David and Teeler. Classic Teeler, oh my god. And Teeler's Endo. Unwithered Teeler, so that's what he would look like originally. Alright. Cancelled prototypes. Teeler land. Yeah. Some other characters. Office, cam system, door. Food or something. Interesting character, a magician look like. Looks like Willow kind of, but a chef. Early, mid to 2019. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Nice, cool stuff. Dev note. Uh, Hi, I'm Nitro, developer of Tealerland. I wanted to put this message because I wanted to give something back to the people who decided to stick with my game all the way through to the end. When I started the version, uh, this version of Tealerland in November of 2019, I wouldn't have been able to even imagine how far it would have come. Before this came, many, many unfinished fan game projects with the same name, scrap design, etc. But, but this time, it finally stuck. The first render of Teeler with the first design I had made for this uh, iteration for the project was when I realized that I had to stick to this project all the way to the end, and I did just that. So here we are, full game out after nearly two years of hard work. It's a huge achievement for me considering the last time I released a fan game was over five to six years ago, although unfortunately most of my old FNAF fan games are long gone. Ah. Of course the project wouldn't have come to life if it weren't for the voice actors that decided to help out, the playtesters, my close friends who helped with the project, and you guys. The people who decided to play my game out of all the hundreds there are on Game Jolt and otherwise, that is what made me stick through it all until the very end, and I can't uh, thank you enough for giving me a chance. Well, man, 
Um, a lot of really good FNAF fan games have come out in a while, but honestly, uh, you look at any FNAF fan game, if anybody just even just cares about making it, then it's gonna turn out well. Like, this, so much work was put into this, and I can tell, and it's been so well done. Like, a lot of, uh, fan games, like, you just put in the work into it, people are gonna play it. Like, it's, it's simply how it is. Uh, and this has exceeded all my expectations. I wanted to play this as soon as I saw it, because it looks so good. Um, of course, developing a game like this isn't without a downsides. Things got very tough for me sometimes, but I managed to push through it all. Would I go through all this again? I don't know. Not yet, at least. Finishing this game took a lot and required a lot of patience, work stress, and anxiety from me. Honestly, I very likely won't go through all this again for a sequel or something, but only time can tell. But did I regret doing any of this? Not a single bit. It's been worth it to me in a way I cannot even begin to describe. A five-year-long goal of mine was finally completed and dusted off after all this time. It's surreal to me. But anyway, thank you for playing my game all the way through to see this message. Thank you uh, for everyone who's uh, been around since Tealer Land was announced, since I first started my fan game journey, or playing now uh, for just the very first time. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported it and or continues to. You guys are amazing, and it's been the best gift for me to come out of making this game see you all again when the time comes i'll be working on neat stuff in the meantime that was a nice message let's hop into customer see what we got bonus character endo bonus character classic dealer and then all of them are the same challenge hell's carnival um dealer land uh project teal justed and newcomers day shift boys night Girls' Night, uh, the different chapter, Doll Master, the Sidekicks, the Dragons, Jester, and None. You edit your health. Oh, I know some of these. Yeah, some of these change your health too. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna devote any videos to these. Um, I don't know. I feel like I could do that on a live stream. That could be something we do on the mega stream and just hop on and see if we can get through this. But I think, honestly, for what I want to achieve with Tila Land, I think I've got it. We died eight times. Wait, is that eight? I don't think I've... Oh, no. Yeah, no. I was going to say, I don't think I've died eight times. No. Uh, this night alone gave me all those deaths. I think, besides this, I might have died a few times you guys can go back in the video and see what the death counter was before but i'm actually pretty happy only going through this game with eight deaths yeah so until we probably stream the custom night this was tealer land absolutely amazing game i can't give it enough praise it's just i'm so happy that this ended up getting done because like i haven't been along with it for the five years or like since november 2019 God, when did I first find out about this game? Honestly, it wouldn't have been that long after that. I've known about this game for a long time, and I've been following it, and I'm so happy it got finished. Uh, look forward to see whatever this, uh, Nitro does uh, in their future, and I will definitely be keeping an eye out for that. Uh, but yeah, that'll pretty much wrap this up. I guess after this, we're going to head back on over to, um, what was it, Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese rebooted and wrapped that one up, and then Jolly eventually. Now this is done, we hop back on that. Uh, yeah, I've been recording for almost an hour now, so I'm gonna hop off. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next episode of whatever I make. Good day.